Hi everyone, congratulations on finishing your group projects. I took a quick look at all of them, uh, listened or read all of them, and uh, you did a wonderful job so far. Um, I'll take a more careful look and we'll be grading them over the course of this week. I wanted to send out a video for you all to um, give you an idea of what's a successful week number nine look like and then how to finish the class well because we're coming rounding the final lap I guess and headed for home on this course. So you all have done great so far and I'm looking forward to what you will have for your final projects. Um, so how to have a successful week number nine. This evening I will post uh, all of your group projects into their own separate forums where you can read uh, each other's projects and look at them and you can give comments, ask questions, etc ask for clarifications and then uh, the, each group will try to interact with you as you ask questions. So that's the key focus for this week is reading each other one another's group proposals or sorry your group projects and then also uh, commenting and asking questions and interacting together on um, on one of them so or on one or more of them. So that's the idea for week number nine. Week number 10, you have uh, a reading, Racial Conflict and Healing by Andrew Sung Park. I would probably suggest that you get started on that reading during week number nine. So uh, week number 10 is a little bit easier for you. So there's going to be a discussion on uh, racial conflict and healing. There's a lecture by Reverend Charlotte Williams. She's uh, been my TA in the past, and she's currently TAing the Introduction to Christian Ethics course um, for me this quarter as well. So uh, she's going to give a quick lecture. This lecture is from last year and um, it is on racial justice given the kind of current events with Black Lives Matter that was happening last spring. Uh, I think it's still very relevant today and she's going to um, mix in a little bit of conversation about racial conflict and healing. So we'll have uh, the reading by Andrew Sung Park in week 10, lecture by uh, Reverend Williams. I have posted an article on abund uh, Genesis and the Abundant Life that I wrote. That's not required reading, but if you look at that um, and if you like to read it, it talks about Shalom and the five relationships that are found in Gen Genesis and how uh, when John talks about life and uh, records Jesus' teaching about life in the Gospel of John, my thesis is that he's talking about those five relationships found in Genesis 2 that are created good by God and then corrupted by sin in Genesis chapter 3. So you can look at that article. I am posting a lecture on um, Walter Wink's article, Jesus' Third Way, and then also um, a little bit on Genesis and the Abundant Life and Shalom. So uh, those are kind of, you can watch them, read them at your own leisure. The key focus and the requirement is racial conflict and healing and the lecture by Charlotte Williams. So week 10 will look like that. So if you can get started on racial conflict and healing, that will make week 10 easier as you kind of turn your attention towards your final paper and final project. Your final paper, let me just say a quick word about that, is somewhat reflective of your group project only you're going to go a little bit deeper than your group project did because there's limitations to what you can do in an asynchronous class with a group project and so um so what i want you to do is something like the two narratives project um that i gave to you for the groups but pick a topic maybe it's the one that you were looking at for your group maybe it's as you read other groups you see uh, something interesting in their topic and you want to do some more research, um, you can pick one of those topics. And then uh, what, I'd, what I'd like you to do is just dive a little deeper on the two narratives. So, and then the biblical application of peacemaking. So that's kind of the idea about the final paper. And so you want to be thinking about that during week number 10 and maybe connecting with me either through email or text or something like that. Hey, this is my idea for my final paper or slash project. And what do you think about that? One, I can 
I can kind of say, yeah, this sounds great, or this is maybe a too big of a topic or too small of a topic, and I might have some resources for you. So, uh, and I want, I don't want you to like get into the middle of a project and realize, oh, this is not quite what I was looking for. And so, uh, yeah, if you can run that by me, that'd be great. And it will kind of add to the possibility that you'll get a, you know, really good grade on your project. So, um, there you go. That's week number, what's coming up for week number nine is reading one another's projects and then getting a little running start on racial conflict and healing. Week number 10 will be the lecture by Reverend Williams and the readings, Andrew Sung Park and the discussion on race and racial justice and peacemaking. And then there's some optional articles and lectures in there that are posted in week 10's module. And then during finals week, you'll write a final paper that kind of reflects what you did in your group project, and then you, um, but you go a little bit deeper with it. I'll have more instructions for your final paper during week number 10 and probably host an office hour as well to talk about it. So yeah, again, really great job on your group projects. Some of them uh, were really creative and then all of them were, looked really solid uh, in content. So yeah, um, have a great week this week and look forward to seeing how you interact over your groups.